So today I'm going to show you guys how to process my capture of Saturn and make it so it appears like the picture you see on my screen there. So there are a few things you're going to need before you can do this. You're going to need to download Registack, which is in the description below. You will also need to download the zip file, which contains the video capture I did of Saturn. Uh, once you have these both downloaded in and the uh, Registacks installed, you can go ahead and open up Registack. This here is what Registack looks like. Uh, it may change over the course of years or months, uh, depending on if it gets worked on in development. Uh, it's not the best software really to use, but I find it to be useful um, for starting out. Uh, there's other software that you can use. Uh, to me, they are a little complicated for me to understand right now. So for the meantime, I'm going to show you guys how to do it with Registack. Alrighty, so getting started, let's go ahead and load our video file of Saturn. So if you go ahead and click the select button, locate on your computer where you have Saturn at. Mine is in a folder called Saturn. And if I go ahead and click the open button, it will go ahead and load Saturn into Registack. Now you can go ahead and take note and by pausing the video and taking note of the settings that I have for Registack. I don't know if these are default or if these were something that I changed. Um, but you might want to pause the video and set these if you want. Uh, this is optional, but just take in mind that if you don't have the same settings that I have, it might come out a little different than uh, yours might come out a little different than mine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click the uh, set of line points. Basically, what I think this does is it basically um, finds the uh, best uh, frames and throws away the garbage ones. Uh, but first what you need to do, and I forgot to say this, is you need to find a good frame. Um, and to do that, you can use this little start slider bar here and go through uh, the frames. Or you can just uh, use the, the box here and click the up arrow and go through them one by one. Uh, I'm going to use frame number two because it looks the cleanest and it won't take me too long to uh, find a clean version so that's a clean that's a clean image uh, there's not too much uh, pixelation and whatnot in it uh, and I can kind of see the Cassini division in in the rings there a little bit uh, might be a little hard for you guys to see on the screen uh, but I can I can see it kind of okay on the rings just a little bit it's a little blurred but we can still work with that Okay, so we're going to now go ahead and set the align points. And I, I think what this does, I'm not 100% sure is, is I think what it does is it will uh, basically find an area on there where the good frames will be at. I could be wrong on that. Um, but it only set one, so I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more just um, to kind of help out the software a little bit. I'll put another one about right there. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click the align button. The align process does take a little bit of time, so I did speed up the video there. Uh, so once your align has been done, we're going to go ahead and set the limit. And you can see where you uh, put the, if you added extra uh, align points, you can see where they where they are. Um, so for the, uh, stacking part, uh, you might want to make sure that you have the same settings that I have here. So you might want to pause real quick and make sure that you have the same settings that I have. Um, one other thing that I want to mention too is, is that it's optional if you want to use this feature or not on Registack, but there's a setting called drizzling. And basically what this does is, is it makes it two times larger in the final image. So if you want to enable drizzling, feel free to enable it before you do the stack. So I'm going to go ahead and stack. 
the stacking also can take a little bit of time. Uh, depending on how good your computer is, some laptops and some computers aren't able to process uh, the, this really fast with this software. Um, so as you can see here, you can I don't know how well y'all can see it on the screen, but for me it looks pretty good. Um, it's not really perfect yet, and it won't be really perfect uh, unless you work on a little bit taking your time rather than skipping through it as fast as I am. Uh, feel free to play with some of the settings, though. Uh, don't worry about doing something wrong. Uh, the best way to, to to learn stuff is to play around with the settings and see what works best for you. Uh, if we go over to the Wavelet tab here, this is where some of the magic works. Uh, once you've done the denoise and the sharpen, you can go over to the histogram, gamma, uh, RGB align, RGB balance, if you want to mess with some of those. If you want, you don't really have to, but sometimes you might need to uh, with certain captures that you do. Um, sometimes certain planets need to be uh, corrected and stuff. Uh, it's a lot of explaining to do, but this was just meant to walk you through basically uh, processing my my capture. So before I end this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys processing um, Saturn here. So under the uh, wavelet, what I basically do is I uncheck 2 through 6 and keep layer 1. Um, now take in mind that uh, not all the planets will or captures will work like this, but for this AVI I can bring the slider bar all the way up to 100%. Um, and for the denoise, I, I you can play around with this with different captures. So if you're you got your own capture, you might want to play around with some of these to see which one looks best for you. But for this one, I bring it up to about 25. So 0 0.25 is what I'll have. And for sharpening, I'll use about 150, so 0 0.150. And that right there looks pretty good. Um, you can make it a little bit better if you go into the histogram and gamma and RGB align and RGB balance. Uh, but I won't be going into those because I just wanted to make this video short and sweet so a lot of people can, um, you know, learn how to process the the uh, planets and have a little entry step by processing my sample. So from here you can either do all and then save the image or you can go over here to resize image on the function side. And basically what this will do is if you set the resize ratio to 200%, uh, this will basically make Saturn look about as big as it is on here. Uh, which that basically uh, doesn't look too well. Uh, it kind of looks too pixelated, so I might see if I can bring it down a little bit. I can resize that. Eh, it's not too bad. It's not really good. That's, see, that's a little bit better there. Um, it's not too pixelated. So that's a pretty good picture right there of Saturn. Um, and then all I have to do is go ahead and save image. And I'll go ahead and save this as this here. And by replacing a number there. And uh, if I go over to the save folder that I saved it in, which is right here, this is how my final image looks for Saturn. And it looks pretty dang good. And now you will have your own image of Saturn that you can share with your friends. If this video has helped you guys out, feel free to leave a comment about how it came out. Uh, if you guys like this video, feel free to hit the like button. And also, uh, one other thing I should mention is, as I've said it in the video before, is uh, don't worry about doing something wrong. Just play around with it. And uh, you might actually come out with something better than I showed. Um, but anyways, hopefully this video has helped you guys out. And... Uh, you know, feel free to uh, tweet me or if you want to share it on Instagram and tag me in there or whatever. Or do your, or if you want to share it in the comments, feel free to show me in the comments. I will hopefully uh, be able to remove the blacklist because sometimes YouTube likes to blacklist URLs. So if you post the link, I'll do my best to approve it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out and you learned something and you have your own process version of, uh, your own processed image of Saturn.